peace, how you doing? Um, let's get into it. Uh, today's discussion is entitled From Transgender to Transhumanism. All right, so where I'm going with this is this there's a lot of social, uh, political debate surrounding the LGBTQIA community. Um, a lot of the argument centers around. Uh, you know, their right to access uh, different rights, marriage, uh, not to be discriminated against, uh, things of that nature. Um, one of the latest um, moieties or groups within the LGBTQ community, uh, the transgender community, um, has really been taking a task lately, right? Um, one of the things I want to talk about today is not on the sexual level of transgenderism. I'm not talking about the tra I'm not talking about the sexual level. We're removing the sexual component. What I'm talking about is the fact that the biggest thing is when it comes to the LGBTQIA community is they want everybody to remember that they're human and that because they're human they should have the same basic rights that everybody else has right that that's the cornerstone of their argument and so they can live without any type of uh, rebuke chastisement lambasting um, harassing or any type of physical assault I'm human X Y and Z recognize me, right now Let's take it a step further and remove the sexual component, all right? You're like, where am I going with this? Where am I going with this is this, transhumanism. Now, if you're not, if you're not familiar with transhumanism, I encourage you to look it up, do some research, a quick Google search, will, it will definitely give you uh, uh, a backpack full of information that you can sit down and feast on and expand your mind. But in a nutshell, transhumanism is this branch of science now it's, it's a branch of science now we have these top-notch researchers and scientists and technologists um, and biologists that are looking at ways of how they can engineer and fuse create this hybrid between Man and machine and man and variant gen and variant genes. To break down even further, they were looking at how they can create a brain, a human brain, so what's inside your skull, how they can create a brain to computer interface. Meaning like if somehow I can put a Mac or or or, or or somehow have a software installed in the human brain where the human brain can compute and function on the same level of a MacBook um, with, you know, extreme amounts of terabytes and, you know, it can access the web of tremendous uh, mounds of data, um, uh, access the internet, just basically like your IBM Watson where the brain can understand everything the same way that the computer has access to right so they call that the brain computer interface some are looking at it through like electrodes um, some are looking at it like little microchip implants into the brain these are, I mean physical implantation of microchips and electrodes in the brain to see if they can upgrade the human brain to function exactly like a high-powered computer right so that's one part of transhumanism the other part of transhumanism is this is being able to alter undergo a procedure where they can alter and manipulate the genes so your normal genes and your chromosomes they can replace certain genes with maybe an ideal, a selected, a preferred gene. 
So what do I mean by that? Where I can look regular, but I want to swap out the gene for my muscles and replace it with the muscular strength of, let's say, a lion or a gorilla. So here I stand at six foot two, 205 pounds, and I look regular, but my strength, if I need to access it, it's, I'm just as strong as a lion or a gorilla because I put those genes in there. Or, you know, I want to replace the gene that codes for eyesight and vision. I want to take my human vision genes and I want to swap it and replace that with the eyesight genes of an eagle. Okay? Um, or when it comes to memory and brain power, I want to swap out whatever gene codes for the different parts of memory, whether it's the hippocampus or the amygdala, and I want to replace it with the memory gene codes of a jellyfish. If you don't know, the jellyfish is known to have the, 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 the one of the best memories um, out there of living organisms. Um, and so you get what I'm saying, um, where there are across species, across animal species and plant species, each organism has a specific gene. But if we can just pull, pick and choose, almost like a buffet, I can go down a buffet line and pick and choose what I want and put it in my plate, I'm going up and down the organism, animal and plant kingdom, and I'm selecting genes, I'm taking mine out and inserting those into my DNA. That is what transhumanism is about. So what you're going to see in the near future, as we move closer and closer, technology gets more advanced, is that you're going to have uh, individuals that will have these digital technological upgrades to their brain. And they're also, you're gonna have individuals with these uh, genetic variant um, uh, 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 manifestations. Um, and so that they will be transhumans. They'll be transhumans, right? That's the, that's the official terminology, transhumanism. Um, now, here's the thing. It's going to get to a point, though, where when you have your children, say, you know, mother, father, get together, have intercourse, give birth, they have a, a regular child, no problem, and then their child goes to school. Now, what happens when their normal child goes to school and competes with a child that, let's say, the parents want to say, look, you know what, I want my child to have the best chances and opportunities to advance in society and survivability. So I want my child to have that brain interface upgrade and I want to select these genes for my child. Now your child is in class with that child and that child is outperforming your child on every level because when they take tests, guess what? They're knocking the test out the box because mentally, their brain is upgraded 2.0, 3.0 with all the technological advances and database access, learning how to solve problems and algorithms because it's been artificially enhanced digitally, right? Uh, whether it comes to grunt work or survivability, they also have the physical genes for that. And so you'll see that. So they'll have the upper hand. Now, the other thing is even when they get older or as as we're adults as this happens uh who will be displaced from the workforce because you or your offspring when they have to when these transhumanism individuals are now in the workplace there your supervisor your manager your boss is now looking at you saying how come your performance is so low how come you know this person here who's had these upgrades how come they are more efficient than you well they are more efficient than you they're more productive than you they're more innovative than you and this saves the company money time energy resources 
you're actually more of a liability to our company than this transhuman person. So we have to let you go, right? And so this is something that's going to cause an outcry. And then what's going to happen is the transhuman person is going to say, look, I am human, just like you. I am human. This is the same. You recognize my human rights. Just because I wanted to have this procedure done and be phys physical, physically manipulated and enhanced, it doesn't mean that I'm not human. You have to accept my humanity. What you're doing is you're discriminating against me. You are biologically shaming me because I made a choice to be better. And you're going to have to suck that up and you're going to have to accept that. Because this transhuman person is going to win the argument because the precedent has been set already. The precedent has been set already. How are you? I mean, we already have this now when we talk about what happens with transgender bathrooms. You can't, you know, you can't discriminate. You cannot deny them rights, privileges, access, and service because of because they may have had a surgery or because they believe that they are this um, this entity. You have to honor that. So I'm saying this is and this is and this has nothing to do with because people are quick to jump into their phobic bag. This has something to do with people thinking forward ahead. This is this is years to come. Um years to come. But if you think I'm lying, I encourage you to go to technologyreview.com. 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 Uh that is Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT's um research publication uh website. So that's where you have all the top notch uh, international and the top-notch first-class cutting-edge research being published all right um, that's you you're gonna find so much and you also want to research the what's called the 2045 global futures Congress the 2045 global futures Congress and you're going to see and you can also go to YouTube and type in 2045 global futures and you're going to see everything that I'm saying. You're going to be like, wow, I didn't know this is really on the horizon. So just letting you know what's out there. So this is from transgender to transhumanism. All right. Peace.